So I'm back with another YouTube video. And here I am using the Ruby Kisses brand number 14 with the darker shade. And I'm going in and going to put that all over my cap. Well, all over the front part of the cap where I'm going to lay the wig at. Now I have it all completed all over the cap. Now I'm going to go in and take a little alcohol and clean around my edges. Because you don't want the oils off your face to mix with the glue. Now I'm just straightening the top of that wig. You always want to hit it with the hot comb just to get all those flyaway hairs and any hair pushed all the way back. So that you can get the sleekest and cleanest look on your frontal or your closure, whatever your wig, period. So here I am just tightening the straps and showing you guys how to put that together. If you choose to put your straps like that, some people take them apart and I usually do it like that and like cross them or do something like that because I feel like it gives me more of a, a tougher hold on my head. But anyways, here I am using a ghost bond glue and you can use whatever glue you like. I don't give people specific brands to use because I'm not going to swear by 100% by no glue, you know, unless it's my own. And I would have to do a lot of research and make sure that it's definitely given what I'm telling you is given. But anyways, the ghost bond definitely do the job for me. Um, and here I am just going to show you guys how to apply the wig. I cut some of that lace off because it was way too much and it wasn't needed. So if you have a wig that have a whole lot of lace, you just go in and cut that lace off. It's not going to hurt it. So I'm going to go in and show you guys how I'm going to apply this wig. I'm just going to press that comb into the lace. Well, press, pressing, excuse me, uh, pressing the comb into the lace where the lace is pressing into the glue. So you go around and you make sure that you do that all the way around the front of the wig or all the way around the closure, whichever one you have on. Then once I make sure that that's all the way how I want it to lay down, I'm going to go in. Well, I'm parting off my side, side tabs. You want to do that, cut that off. And then... I'm going to go in and put a band on there and tie it down for maybe like 10 minutes. I'm going to cut those ear tabs off and then I'll go in and put the band back on there before I do like the finish and touch as far as laying the lace down. Once I put the lace on, I'll also use my blow dryer on a cool setting. And that's only sometimes, but if you just want to, like, just to speed up the process a little bit, use that to dry the glue. Here I am now going in with an eyebrow archer. This is a dollar eyebrow archer you can get at your local beauty supply store. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Those work just as good, but use whatever you want. You know, that's up to you. You can use scissors as well. Scissors do do a good job but i like the razor better it give you more of a precise cut so you'll see me going in with the glue just fixing any little like any lift ups anything that i need to lay down before i go in and put the guys to behold on it so now i'm putting the makeup on you know because it was looking a little ashy of course but i'm putting the makeup on to blend it into my skin and then i'm gonna go in and put my uh put the guys to be on there and I spray it in little sections that are just going all the way across and just spraying it all the way across the lace. It's just a little better for me to do it like that. You get more of a like, I don't know, I like it better. I go in and I blow dry just a little bit before I put the band back on because I feel like if you don't, the, uh, the band can possibly stick to the uh, lace and it'll lift it. So there we go. I let that sit for about 10 minutes, and now, as you can see, it's definitely melted. So, it's giving what it was supposed to give, ladies. And it, and if it's not for you, then it's not, you know, but I know that this method works. So, do what works for you. I do what's best for me. Everybody won't do things the same way, and that's just fine. There's no one rule in how to put a lace front on.
here I am taking out my baby hairs. I decided I'm going to do a side part. So I'm just going to take out two spots of baby hairs, one by the ear and then one up a little bit right there where the parts start. And I'm going to do these two. Um, yeah, I just feel like that's the look that I want to do right now. So you want to use the hot comb, push all that hair back. Like I told you again, I'm using a hair serum. That one is by Olive Oil. It's a hair serum with a, a heat protectant in it. You always want to use that one flat on or using any heat on your hair. I showed you my wax stick brand. You can use any wax stick brand, but that's the brand that I'm going to use. I'm uh, going to put that all over the front of this lace. You'll see me doing it in sections, but it's definitely going to be over all over uh, the wig so that I lay it down the way that I want it laid down. I'm going to let you guys watch and I'll be back. And now I'm just uh, taking those baby hairs and I'm going to just pluck a little bit of hair out of them because they was looking a little bit dense. So if you want yours to look dense, leave it like it is. If not, then you definitely want to go in and just pluck just a little more of that hair out of the baby hairs. But I'm going to show you guys how to curl you, your baby hairs and actually do them with a comb. I don't really use the um little brush thing they came out with with the baby hairs and i'm trying to learn it but it feels so weird to me i actually like doing mine better with a comb now here i am using the olive oil brand it's a gel um, and I'm going to put a little of that at the top of my baby hairs and then I'm going to use a little foam. Sometimes I mix them together and just make like a little caution <laughs> or whatever. Um, and here you see me doing the baby hair. And then I blow dry the baby hairs. I put a band on or I mean I put like a, a the rapid strips on there. Why I style and I go from there. It looks a little different because this was definitely done on two different days. It's not the same day because I got tired the first day. I definitely gave it time. That's why you can see the little lace in the front because, honey, I be taking a break from doing these videos. It be a lot sometimes, but I mainly, sorry, the most important thing is to bring you guys content and for y'all to understand what I'm doing and to show y'all what I'm doing so you could be able to achieve your own. So seeing this I already layered the hair and I layered it off camera. Um, and here you're going to see me curling it up and styling it again. One last thing before I go is use it because I didn't do it on the video because I wasn't going outside after the video. Use a light concealer, probably two shades lighter than your skin tone to do your part. And then you can use a black spray. Or you can use a root touch-up or something. I have a L'Oreal root touch-up um, that I use to define my parts if they just a little over bleached or something like that. Or if you just want to define a part, period, just use something like that. So I'm going to let you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Like and subscribe for more. Tell me what you like, what you didn't like. I'm open to all things. Thank you guys, and I appreciate everyone for watching. Bye.